An important principle that we need to talk about is the Pauli exclusion principle. And in this principle, it states that no two electrons can have the same four quantum numbers. So electrons in the same orbital must have opposite spins in order to reduce the repulsion. We also need to speak about Hund's rule. And Hund's rule states that electrons are added one at a time to each equivalent orbital before pairing. So in the p orbitals, you need an electron in each of the orientations before you can start pairing them. And the way I explain this is think about going off to college next year, and you're going to room with two of your friends. So there's three of you sharing an apartment. The apartment has three bedrooms. Each of you would rather have your own room than to share. If you decide to take on a fourth roommate, then you would need to start sharing bedrooms. So the same thing exists with electrons. Before you can start pairing them in the same room or orientation, they're each going to want their own room first. So for example, with phosphorus, it has 15 electrons. It will have unpaired electrons in the very outer orbital. So here you'll see we have phosphorus written out, 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p. The 1s's will fill in, the 2s's will fill in, the 2p's will fill in one at a time, then you'll have the 3s's, and then finally the 3p's, the three last electrons, will go into their own orientation in the 3p orbital. They will not pair up first. So let's look at some permissible quantum numbers. Take a look at these groups, these are the four, and you need to decide whether or not these four can exist. Before we move on, make sure that you have these written down. Here with the first electron, it has an N4, an L1, an M sub L of a two, and a plus half. Could an electron exist with these four quantum numbers? It is not possible, because if you have an L equaling one, then your M sub L, or your magnetic quantum number, can only equal one, zero, or negative one it cannot equal 2, based on the equation from the original table. How about if we have an n equaling 5, an l equaling 2, an m sub l equaling 0, and an m sub s equaling 0. This one would not exist either, because the spin quantum number will be either a plus half or a minus half. Our last one if we have an electron with a quantum numbers 2, 2, 1, and plus 1 half, would this electron exist? And it can't, because if you have an electron with a principal energy level of 2, n equaling 2, then L would, could only equal 0 or 1. There would be no 2, because there's no 2d orbital. The d's start with 3. So how can we do the periodic table and electron configurations? Well, it's important to know what where your S blocks are in your periodic table. The first two columns are S block columns, and your helium is also considered a part of the S block even though it's on the other side of the table. Each of these will be labeled 1S through 7S. Then you have the six columns in the P block, and they will be labeled 2P through 7P. Then you have the 10 columns of the D block, and they are labeled 3D through 6D, and then the two columns of the F block, which are 4F and 5F. Knowing these, you can figure out the electron configuration using your periodic table. And it's easier for me to demonstrate this in class. So one day at the beginning of class, we will go through electron configurations using the periodic table. So looking at this, you will notice that the S block only has two columns, and the S block can only hold two electrons. The P block has six columns. It can only hold six electrons. The D has 10 columns. It can hold 10 electrons. And the F has 14 columns. It can hold a total of 14 electrons. Here are some electron configurations, nitrogen, scandium, gallium. What I would like you to do is go through and do the standard configuration in your notebook. And then when we go over the periodic table in class, we will review them together. So that is the end of our chapter 6 notes. Chapter 7 will not be done on YouTube because they will it will actually be completed as individual presentations by you. 
to the class. So um, take some time and work on the configurations and we will review periodic configurations in class.